I'm also going to take a moment to recognize Ms. Uh, Frank Wagner. She's here. She's from the, what year, Ms. Frank? 89? 91? 91 is when she graduated. She is the second cohort within the Cobb County Center for Excellence in the Performing Arts. And so she's probably the, the longest and the oldest performing arts member here today. Thank you for being here. Once again, I just want to thank each one of you for being here today. And he has thanked everyone, but I want to make sure that we say thank you to Trey Hutchins. Thank you. members who collaborated with me to get this uh, event uh, planned. All of you all to please come and be recognized at this point. Come on stage. Thank you all the incredible alumni and staff members. Please come because I know everyone can see that this weekend was not done in isolation. It was certainly a collaborative effort of graduates and supporters of Pebble Book High School and we are tired. <laughs> we are tired. At the end of yesterday, when we had our tailgate event, I was trying to be superwoman, and I was rolling the, the cart that has all of the metal trays, and it was going too fast for me, so I thought that I could step in front of it and stop it, and my pinky toe decided to stop it, so that's why I'm kind of limping today. But however, can we just give a round of applause to all these incredible people? Thank you so much. We have prepared for you a reception that will take place in our current learning commons. When you exit the building, you will go to the right, and uh, there will be people to kind of guide you. Students who are heading that way, uh, if you could help to assist by creating sort of a, a line, a chain, to so show people the direction and the way that they should go. But once again, I'd just like to say thank you to each and every one of you for being here today and for whatever it is that you were able to contribute this weekend, your presence, your prayers, your money, however that looks, we appreciate it. I also want to say that we're going to be reopening the link. We're asking, uh, we're trying to do a special um, acknowledgement of 60 seniors for the 60th, we're calling it 60 for the 60th, where we're asking um, supporters of Pebble Brook High School to donate $60, and we are going to try to get 60 scholarships this year to the class of 2024. So you can see that we open, and that may be open, please, we're asking you to give to that effort. Well, we're going to ask Ms. Torres to come and say the benediction, and then we will make our way to the reception. Thank you. And as we remember those that were here before, your loved ones, my loved one, uh, Sean D'Agostino, who we love that taught here as well. I want you to just think about the excellence that has been in this place, um, the things that have happened here that were good for you, the students that are here now, just know that you are on good ground. Those of you that are alumni, you heard her say the 60 for 60. Can we can do better? I'm going to be a good, good preacher for you right now. Come on, we can do better than that. <laughs> the children that are here, because this is good ground. Well, we need to make sure that good things continue to happen, all right? Um, so, Lord God, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for remembering those that came before us. We thank you, Lord God, for the legacy that they left. We thank you for what you are doing, what you have done in this place, and that it is a solid ground. We thank you for what has been poured into this place. We thank you for the memory of those that came before and those that are coming now, Lord God. And I even ask you, Lord God, that you would that you would cover this place. Lord God, we're in a time where the schools are, can be a scary place, but Lord God, we know that you already have your hand on this place because we see it with the evidence that we that we see in our children, in the staff that is here, Lord God, and the teachers are here. Lord God, would you cover this place? We thank you for every building, for every cent, for everything that has been done already here. We thank you for uh, what is about to happen.
happen. We speak into every classroom. We let you, would you let your healing and your uh, peace go into every classroom, every building, every hallway. Lord God, would you let um, in every child, Lord God, in their purpose come to pass. We thank you that there will be great things that have already come out of this place. We can name all of the people, those that we remember today, but those that are in the world that are doing great things and that those that are going to do great things. We thank you that purposes and destinies are coming out of the brook. Now, if you would pour back into the virtue of Dr. G and Mr. Hutchinson and all those standing here, Lord God, because you heard them say they were tired. Um, if you pour back into him all, them all the virtue that they have poured out, Lord God, on behalf of the community of Mableton. Lord God, give it back to them a hundredfold. I thank you for this day. We thank you for remembering that you remember us and we will remember you. Now, as we go from this place, Lord God, would you never go from our presence? And they didn't even ask me to, but would you bless the hands that prepare the food that we're about to receive? That? All those things in Christ's name we say, amen. You all be blessed. Amen.